so this is the tutorial for mirror tool or mirror copy tool suppose we need to draw some shapes which are symmetrical on both sides of the axis like this is the x-axis so this is a pier shape and this is a different designer shape but both the shapes are symmetrical on the either side of the x-axis or on the either side of the y-axis like this is a shape and this is a shape but both are symmetrical so for drawing these kind of shapes we have a tool which is called the mirror tool so for to use that tool i am taking a simple standard curve and now i am going downwards here the grid snap option i am taking this grid snap on and see this is snapping all the grid corners all the grid corners it's snapping automatically so from the center x axis we are starting our curve click anywhere on the center line and then click this grid snap off to draw freely if we draw with this grid snap on so we cannot draw freely because it's snapping the grids automatically it's snapping the grids so to draw freely we need to switch off this grid snap now we are drawing freely Again, I'm taking this snap, stand curve, snapping. And now, again, to end our curve at this straight line, we need to again switch on this grid snap and see here and right click. So now we have got a shape which is starting from this X curve and ending on the same x curve x axis <clears throat> select the two curves join them and switch this grid snap off now to get a mirror copy of this curve on this side of this axis x axis we will type mirror first we have to select the curve then we need to type mirror mirror this mirror and now it's asking us to start of mirror plane so we need to snap either any points any end points of this curve either this end or this end i am snapping from here and add c a copy a symmetrical copy of this curve has come out but we need to place it on the same plane or same straight line for that we need to type shift shift and left click and bingo there we got a same symmetrical copy of this curve on this side of this x-axis other side of this x-axis see in the same way we can get a copy again i am now i'm taking this polyline curve and i want a shape symmetrical shape on the both sides of the y-axis again for starting I uh, just yes, can do this I can start from here and now to end this we need to click the grid snap on and snap it in this y axis and leave it suppose I need this point to move here so what we can do we can grid snap off points on select this point and simply move it but it's now moving through this y-axis okay hmm. now switch the points off by typing escape select this curve in the command box type mirror and our grid snap is off <coughs> we will snap from this end snap and we will type shift c it's given a symmetrical shape on either sides of this y-axis okay so now let's so let's see if we can uh, convert this into a surface or not okay so we will take this interpolate curve we'll snap from here to here descent to descent snap Turn its points on. See. 
okay so now suppose we need another point here to change the shape of this cross section we can change this shape of this cross section like this we will go right view now this is our right view from this area so we will go to right view we can move the cross section up and down okay so now suppose we need the cross section the center point up and this both point down control z we will top view now we need a control point here also so in the command box we will type insert control point c this insert control point click it and we will click on the curve on which we need the control point click and suppose i want this point at the center for this i need to able enable my midpoint mid snapping tool see this is clicked this mid mid one see here here this mid is clicked mid point and all are clicked so i will just type alt snap and left click see we have get a point here but still the control point it in, insert control point is still there so now we will just right click and it will go on now we have got a point in the center okay so now we will give we will make a shape first we will select these two curves and with the scale this box scale box we will drag downwards and now we will select all the curves and go to right view move them upwards and the center one i want this to be down and the two curves i need to be up so this is the shape we want of this surface see <coughs> so now we will switch to command we will use first this one and this one or either first this one or this one the result will be same and then we will select the cross section this one right click okay see we'll go to rendered view control from here go to rendered view see this shape how the shape is going to come out the surface again go to perspective and shaded view see this is a symmetrical shape with the cross section of this this is the cross section curve and these are two curves we have drawn the same way <coughs> we can convert this also into a surface interpolate curves from here to here because these are ends are joined so we need a cross section at somewhat center type this points on select the two points suppose we need a point in between also so in the command box we'll type insert command point insert control point and click on the curve on which we want the control point and then we will type alt for snapping the midpoint alt and left click and then right click to release again i am selecting these two curves dragging this scale tool scale box select the, all the three curves go to front view move them downwards now i am changing the shape <coughs> now i want this center point to upwards and this two side parts to below go to perspective view escape the points we want sweep to this and this and the rail curve right click okay so now there is a box here it's called maintain height first we will see just click ok what's happened okay so now again i am selecting this curve this curve and the rail and i'm clicking this maintain height box 
so what it will do it will maintain the height a bit see the dome is now a little bit not that much dome so again we can just unclick also it's up to our requirement so to this and this we don't we won't do this like this from this curve we are selecting and again we are selecting this curve which is on the other side of the cross, cross section rail we will have to select this curve and then this curve both should be on the same direction of the cross section and then this cross section right click again and click the maintain height just click ok move to this point again right click this select was trailed Sweep to command has come out this one this one and then the rail curve curve right click okay see the two surface join them now there are one unit for rendered view see this Shaded view. Done. So for making symmetrical shapes, we need a command which is called the mirror command, mirror tool command, mirror copy command.